Yo, what's good? Let's check out the new episode for Comey Can't Communicate. Look at now, make sure you follow my socials and don't forget the YouTuber things. And if you want to check out other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to that playlist. Shout out to our amazing patrons over on Patreon, getting access to the full length reactions of all of the anime from fall 2021 onward. If you want to join in and become a patron, then make sure you click the link down in the description. And that way you can get access to those full length reactions for the anime that I watch seasonally. And if you're interested in more exclusive reactions that won't be cut up for YouTube for quite a while for series like Made in Abyss, Tanya the Evil, Ascendance of a Bookworm, Devils of Part-Time, and hopefully a lot of rom-coms to come, we've got a tier for that. The previous episode of Comey Can't Communicate focused around the um, sports festival. So essentially like a field day sort of thing. Um, now I reminisced on the fact that I have not had a field day since I was in fucking elementary school. All through middle school, no field day. All through high school, no field day. What? It's trash, man. And then you go to Japan and you got these high school field days that are amazing. There's so many different games that they played, so many different challenges, sports. I don't know how you want to refer to them, but so many different things that they competed against each other in. I'm just jealous. I'm just actually jealous. The episode was fun and I am excited for the next one. So let's jump into it. Damn, Najimi with the ability to shut them the fuck up. Every anime has a maid cafe, dude. <laughs> also, we can see Komi as what? Whoa! That is... That is... That is beyond inappropriate. Holy shit, she is actually horrible. Yamai is actually horrible. That is like sexual harassment to the... That's beyond just sexual harassment. That is like, I don't know exact terminologies, but that is not okay. Oh, cool. And Comey can sing. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's definitely not gonna work. Aw, we like her. <laughs> well, I didn't know she was, oh, well, yeah, of course she's in their class, but we never see her. Who the hell is this guy? This man's name is Otaku, what? A doujin fair. <laughs> a new character. I was going to say, who the fuck is this guy? Whoa. Whoa. Time to ask Komi what she wants to do. I don't want to vote. I want to do this other thing. Let me tell you my idea. Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> Literally, Komi decides on something, everybody's down with Komi. It just wouldn't be an anime without a maid cafe. That's like typical, right? Can't have, can't not have a maid cafe. Bro, these people are the weirdest weirdos, bro. What the fuck? Hey man, don't be having her do anything. She's gonna take Komi. She's a god. All right, relax, guys. Holy shit! What a bunch of weirdos. Hey, let's go. We love her. Hey, what? Ah, this one's not Tadano. Wow. Damn, Komi tall as shit. Holy shit, Comey is literally all legs. That is wild. Comey is like 70% legs. I wonder how tall Comey is. How the fuck she disappeared so quick? She's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie, she's kind of an annoying character. Every time she pulls out the paper, man, she changes eyes. Oh, another friend, let's go! Yo, she's got like at least 20 friends right now, right? She's got a lot of fucking friends. She's friended up. Yeah, imagine that was supposed to be during like middle school. Gotcha. 
Yeah, these are probably the same people that made the mistake on the high school, middle school thing with her cousin. So, yeah, during middle school. Okay, okay, okay. Aw, it's cute. Oh my god, she, hey man, I would not want to take her anywhere, bro. What is wrong with her? Ah, uh, we like Onemine. I like her. Hmm. Oh, word! It was a word! She uttered an actual word! Holy shit, Komi, nice! Komi spoke. Komi said a word, guys. I don't know how to feel right now. Komi said an actual word. Ah, uh, he's just proud seeing her making a fucking friend. Oh, that's so that's so cute. What the hell, yo? That is unfair. I want that. Ah. Uh... Hey, let's go. Wow, man. She just read in her mind and shit. That's wild, dude. I love it. It's Yamai's. No, I lied. Oh, it's the Oh, it's the baby. Is it the same baby? The one that she did the face to the one time at the library or no? Hmm. Ah, Coco-san, I like it, dude. Can we give her that nickname? Oh my God! Oh wait. What do you think? You think Komi made the little cylinder one or something? Oh, she made the big ass cube. Uh, of course, he found the one that she made. I li we love Onimine, dude. Oh, I love her so much. She's great. I hope that she always. I, I hope she like joins the group. So it's not just the three, but now we add her in, and it's four of them. That's what I'd be. I'd be so happy about that. She didn't pass out. She's lying. Exactly. Yeah, I knew it, dude. I knew it. I knew she didn't actually. I knew it, dude. We hate Yamai. What is this? He's an expert in maids. 32 years old, and he's an expert in maids. It's just He's just fucking cringe. <laughs> this guy is a fucking weirdo, dude. 32-year-old looking for some 15-year-old uh, maids. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying. He's walking around and oh well I guess they probably have to wear special things inside of the place, so never mind. <laughs> That's funny. Komi's gonna serve him and he's gonna bus. What's it saying? Put translation! Damn it. They're skipping a lot of translations on this. Oh, Hmm. Damn, that kind of look. That. Yeah, I was gonna say that shit look kind of good. <laughs> Let's go, Tadan. Oh, I lied. Oh wait, it is him. That's very weird. Is what you into, Komi? Yay, Komi's mama! <laughs> oh! Oh, it's the little brother! Hey, little sister! <laughs> More like Onei-chan, right? <laughs> Whoa! Is 
Him in this outfit is uh, very weird. You look super cute. Oh, of course, dude. You got to do the little. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's pretty. Well, I well, she's always sort of a little embarrassed, but oh, I guess he is always too. But yeah, he would feel embarrassed in the in the maid cafe outfit. You know, it's not his typical style. You know, he's not Najimi. He's not gonna be able to pull that off. Even though, hey, man, kind of pulled it off. Not gonna lie. So let's talk about the episode. This one was just focused around uh, a, a, another event, a school event. They had to decide what the event was. It ends up going with the maid cafe and basically everyone signs on because yeah, they get to see Komi and maid cafe. What? We meet a new character. She is super chill. That's like her whole shtick is she's like really chill. And she goes shopping with Komi and Onamine, who we love by the way. Man, every, yo, we just love Onamine. I wanna see her in more everything. I want her to be part of the main crew. I want the main crew to no longer just be Tada no Komi and Najimi. I want it to also extend to Onimi. We love her, dude. She's just awesome. Also, Komi is like super fucking tall, bro. You look at like her character design and like based on like where her ass would be, she's like literally like this much legs and then like that much upper body and then a head. This is literally like the breakdown of, of how she is drawn. Maybe even less than that for the upper body. Her upper body is like twice as long as her head. And then her legs are like, like butt, same size as the head. And then legs is like one, two, three, like four. Four, f so like five from the waist down. Five heads of Komi and then Komi's upper body, two heads, and then her head is a head. That is wild. She is fucking long, dude. You look at the way that everybody else is drawn, you're like, ah, well, damn, it's kind of weird, man. She's drawn so freaking long. She's just lanky and tall and long legs. But I guess long legs is supposed to be a good thing. It's supposed to be like a model or whatever. Just really disproportionate. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was cute. She said her first word to somebody that wasn't Tadano. That was very impressive. Very, very impressive. So I am impressed by Komi and wow. I just clicked on a random part of the episode and Komi is drawn so derpy. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, uh, this shit looks funny as fuck. Oh yeah, they ma they make like rice balls and, and uh, Tadano just happens to get Komi's rice ball, which is actually not a rice ball, it's a fucking rice cube. And he loves it and she's all like, ah, but Onimine is there and yeah, that's great. We see Komi's little brother. That man is a lady killer, for sure. Seems a little edgy though. You know? uh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm brooding, you know? And then we see Tadano's sister who shows up seeing Tadano in Tadano's maid outfit. So it's kind of funny. Yeah, man, overall, good episode. Very enjoyable. From here, I want to know what you all thought of it and um, what was the funniest part to you or maybe the most adorable. What, whatever moment really stuck out to you the most that you enjoyed the most. I would say my favorite is definitely Komi saying a word to somebody. I love it. And then outside of that, I would say... Probably, I guess I really liked when when uh, Tadano's sister walked in and saw him there in his maid outfit. That was kind of funny. Yeah, so just leave a comment down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one if you're interested in anime themed content, since that's what we make on the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.